Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm Gabby. Mitt. Liz. Yeah. Becca. Serena. Manny. And we are Phila Mundo. Phila is a Greek word for love, and Mundo is a Spanish word for world. We are a group of students who envision a world in which community, in which community members are active in our society, eco-friendly in our society. We are working towards a society that no longer denies climate change, but instead embraces new lifestyles to help prevent it. Yeah. This year, we have decided to take on Josh Bernstein's climate change challenge. Methane release is an increasing issue, which isn't surprising considering how little people know. The students who took our survey and reported to using one or three water bottles per day amount to actually 7,000 square feet per year, which is the size of an average mansion. Worldwide, United States has the second highest CO2 release with the population only of 4.4 out of the whole world. And here in Philadelphia, we have the second highest prevalence of man-made environmental hazards. Our community needs Filamundo. We made important connections and discussed the many misconceptions that people have about tap water and possible solutions. Over the course of eight weeks, we have created a movement, educated our community, engaged with our students, established our Fulu Mundo Club, and most importantly, officially registered as an eco-friendly school. Our first step was to educate and we started within our school. Although many students were aware about climate change, they were oblivious of the causes. We created a PowerPoint presentation explaining the causes and suggesting small life changes they could make to make a huge impact. Not only did we want to educate past and present generations, but we also want to instill the right information into these young, tender, uh, sponge-like minds of children. <laughs> the Filamundo Club went on a field trip to the Philadelphia Waterworks Learning Facility, where we were taught about this, our water supply and, and the safe journey it, the water makes, which enters our homes. After reviewing our survey data, we analyzed the alarming number of water bottles that were being discarded in our school. That is when we realized that promoting tap water and creating the tap water movement would be a key factor in improving the health of the Philadelphia environment. Once we informed our entire school, we began to engage them. During our school lunches, we held water testings, which consisted of three waters, including tap water. Later, we introduced infused tap water to prove that tap water can be enjoyable and to rid the misconceptions of it. We secured our legacy by establishing a permanent Filamundo club in our school, which is open to everyone. We did this in order to improve our community's involvement into improving our environment. We hosted many events in which the community got highly involved in. Our community is evolving towards our goal. Our goal was to motivate 35% of our community and we surpassed that goal for about 5%. Slowly, the three I's turned into the three E's. We have, a, we have reached out to several organizations for contributions and support. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Our contribution will continue to grow, especially through our future plans. With the help of our local library, we will reach throughout the community by educating children. We also look forward to investi investing in a local compost pile in our community and, and receiving the variety of seeds for our garden. Without change, the future cannot survive. Everyone has a climate change warrior in them. We created multiple social media platforms, including a website. This is how we motivated and engaged our community to join us in our movement. The time, the time is ticking. Are, Are you willing to start switching? Filamundo.info to sign a pledge. Great job, Filamundo. Judges, let the questions fly. I, I just, Great job. Oh, so sorry.
We have a video. Oh. Oh. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start It's my only medicine Yeah, Every Apologize for that Thank you so much Thank you, Philomundo Judges, let your questions fly Just great, great energy Passion, like loved it You're smiling That's a big, big Everyone take a, take a look They're smiling It's a big thing <laughs> What was the most fun thing that you did with your challenge? Oh my gosh, the most fun thing? Um, there were a lot of things that were fun in doing this. I think educating people and actually seeing them get involved and visiting the Learning Center and seeing how like, excited, yeah, excited the kids were to learn about climate change. They were like so awestruck. They were like, are you serious? Like that's what it's doing to our world? Like I even asked one kid, I was like, how many of you throw your trash on the ground? He was like, I do. I was like, what? So yeah, I think that, that was one of the best parts, actually seeing everyone get involved. Okay. I second Wayne's compliment. Great, great energy, and I love your guys' tenacity. Like, it's, it's palpable across the stage, so, so great job. Thank you. What do you think the next key step is for you guys moving forward? So after April 11th, what's the, what's the biggest focus for you guys? I think definitely will be to improve and promote the tap water movement even more to spread it all over the city so that everyone can find out how amazing our tap water is so that everybody can be bewildered by the fact that these plastic companies have been tricking them into thinking that they need to purchase bottled water when it's not true, when our water is perfectly potable. And regarding taste, the taste is not the most important part. You can always trick that you can always cool your water add some fruit add some vegetables you know anything mm -hmm. is possible and we want to get that out to the city to the whole city so everyone can see the truth good morning <laughs> great job i echo with yeah. what everyone said about your energy and passion as well um, you mentioned that you surpassed your community engagement goals yeah. how did you measure community engagement we measured it by how involved our students were because our this challenge takes time, takes involvement, you know, it's past the eight weeks. So our first step was really to focus in our school so we could measure that change to see how it would later outward to the community. So last year I personally tried to fund the environmental club, but it wasn't successful due to the fact that students weren't involved. This year with the Aspen Challenge and my team, we revamped the whole system that I had planned out last year myself. We created a whole new thing, the Filamundo Club. This got involvement from the students. The student body before was apathetic. They weren't interested in the causes that were affecting climate change. They weren't interested in reusing water bottles. This year with this amazing group of students behind me, we were able to involve our entire school and that was really impressive for me to see considering the, the stuff that happened last year. All right, thank you, thank you. That is it for questions. Philomundo, also job. Give a round of applause for George Washington.